Um, do you know this book? Uh, Sally Michaels? Yes, yes. Big bestseller, yes. Have you read it? Uh, no, of course not. No, the last book I read was the Alex Fletcher story by the editors of Teen Dream magazine. Why? I'm Sally Michaels. I saw that they were, you know, giving these courses on writing at the new school, so I signed up. And my teacher was Sloane Cates. Brilliant, handsome. The truth is, I was in love with them. And we began spending every minute together, which is why I was sort of surprised when his fiance showed up. Yeah, he never mentioned that he was engaged to a history professor who was on a year-long sabbatical in Spain. And when she popped in for an unexpected visit, it sort of turned into a reenactment of the Inquisition. And that, and, and, and that was that? That was the end of that? Yeah, we never saw each other again. I dropped the class, and a year later, his new novel showed up. The Sally Watson novel? The tale of a student with exalted literary aspirations who lures a brilliant writer into an affair so she can take advantage of his connections. But when he tries to break it off, she devotes herself to ruining his life. Well, I mean, that obviously wasn't you. Well, um, she's a lit major from Long Island, 5'4", my color hair, all my habits, you know, talks to herself and asks too many questions, and her parents founded a weight reduction company that now her sister runs. Well, anyway, I... Since then, every time I pick up a pen, I'm haunted by those words that he wrote, you know? She was a brilliant mimic. You know, she could ape Dorothy Parker or Emily Dickinson, but stripped of someone else's literary clothes. She was a vacant, empty imitation of a writer. First of all, you can't listen to some jerk. He's not a jerk. He's a National Book Award winner. Well, then, get the best revenge. Write a hit song. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think a pop song is gonna impress Sloane Gates. No, oh, no, of course not, no, because pop is just for morons. Forgot that. I didn't mean Brain anything dead. by it. Brain dead, taking too many drugs. You know what? You know what I would say to you and to Mr. Sloan Cates? I'd say that you can take all the novels in the world and not one of them will make you feel as good, as fast as I got sunshine on a cloudy day When it's cold outside, I got the month of May That is real poetry. Those are real poets. Smokey Robinson, Stevie Wonder, Bob Dylan, The Beatles. Okay, what if one of your heroes came up to you and said, you know, Smokey, what if he said, Alex Fletcher, you are a horrible songwriter? How would you well, react? Well, first of all, I do know Smokey a little bit, and he's far too nice a gentleman ever to say such a thing. Uh, Dylan might. Dylan would, actually. Okay. Fact, Dylan did. Dylan walks up to you and he says, you are a horrible songwriter. How do you react? I would be horribly depressed, yes. I would. I would. But then, after, you know, months of brooding, I would find a lyricist and write a song about how horribly depressed I was, and it would be a big hit and everyone would love me and I'd make lots of money and suddenly I'd be a lot less depressed than if I just sat around being a little bit self-indulgent and letting my misery eat away at me until I'd become an emotional wreck and, and, and creatively completely moribund. Yes, moribund. <laughs> okay, let's go. Come on. All right.